Hi everyone. What I have to share with you today is how I made a bearing puller to free bearings from my power wheelchair. I'm sure there's other applications that you could use this on, like a scooter and maybe a lawnmower. Anyway, I encourage you to get creative. That's part of the fun in doing these things. So, to start with, this is my bearing puller. And I want to go over what the materials are that I used to create it. So to start with, this right here is quarter inch threaded rod. I chose quarter inch because it would go through this cement anchor and allow the cement anchor to close all the way around and form an O. At the end, I've got a quarter inch nut. I've got a quarter inch washer in behind it. And then I've got the cement anchor. These two are pipe clamps. And then I've got them encased in this steel stick. So this is an epoxy. I did this to make these pipe clamps strong so it would resist the bearing being removed because otherwise the cement anchor was opening up like this. Then at the top are just a few washers. This particular washer is really crucial it's about a quarter inch wider in diameter than the where the bearing goes in my wheelchair. So my bearing puller uses the strength of the metal of the wheelchair to free the bearing. And it goes through this washer right here. Then why I've got these three washers here is because of using a quarter inch threaded rod. This is a quarter inch nut and if I didn't have these three washers, the quarter inch nut would have just gone right through the hole right here. The process of assembling this was really straightforward. I put some of this steel stick about half an inch or one centimeter in at the bottom and then wrapped a quarter inch nut into it and then squeezed what came out that end into the washer right or here around the end. Then I cleaned off with a Q-tip that you use for your ears the extra that came out on this side here. I wanted to keep these threads clean. And I also cleaned off what came around the edge of this bolt as best as I could. The reason I did that is to keep this nut as an anchor while the bearing is being pulled. And that's really important for my design. I'm not saying it's the only way to make one of these, but that's what I did for my specific design. Then I've got this washer here epoxied into the cement anchor. After that I put another like an O shape of the steel stick underneath the pipe, the two pipe clamps, and then tighten them. And then I put the steel stick over top of it just to keep it strong as possible because the cement anchor is going to take the stress of my design on freeing the bearing. This takes an hour to cure, so I took an hour break after I had the nut washer and the cement anchor in place. Then through the little hole that was remaining right in, right in here, I filled it with more of the stick weld and then I made it smooth on top for when it was being used to free a bearing. And again, I let it sit for an hour. 
And then finally, putting these top washers on, just drop, 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 tighten with a nut. And this is what you end up with. The cost of it was about $25. It was $12 for the JB steel stick. You may have your own preference in epoxy, and I completely respect this. These two pipe clamps were about $2.50. The anchor was about $3. Threaded rod came in a three foot length and it was around $3. And then these washers on here and the nuts range from about 15 cents to about 50 cents, the most expensive. How I decided on where to cut the threaded rod was I needed to keep about this much of the bearing puller below the wheelchair when it was in use, when it started off in use, so that I could always access this nut with my wrench. How this is actually used is the large washer sits on the frame of the wheelchair above the bearing where it's going to be pulled and this here is put underneath and then one wrench keeps supporting this end and it's tight in place because of the steel stick the steel weld strength and then all you're doing is tightening the nut at the top so as you do it this is slowly going up and then you'll eventually have it start swaying and the bearings come free that you're trying to remove few key important notes. I had to use something called penetrating fluid to free the bearing. It was in there real good and needed it around the edge to get it free from the wheelchair. This is because of how much outdoor driving that I do. There's lots of thoughts over there on what is the best penetrating fluid I used liquid wrench, it worked fine, but I see no point in debating with you what your personal preference is or the advice you might seek from a mechanic on what's available to you in your country. Part of why I did it this way is it avoids having to take the part off the wheelchair. This was able to slip underneath and then the washers just dropped on top with the quarter inch nut being tightened. Why that's important is it kind of crosses the line of if I can do it myself or if I have to ask someone to take my wheelchair apart for me. I want to do as much as possible for myself. So transferring to where I can sit and doing this, it does greatly limit what else I can do in the day but but in balance of that is I've done something and it's helped me and it's a project that's completed and I feel good about doing it so it's a trade-off you know you could make a bearing puller and then have a friend do the actual work for you it's a reasonable idea. Certainly making this for you know $25 is a whole lot cheaper than having a mechanic or having a mobility specialist uh, do the repair and paying an hourly rate and uh, travel time to your wheelchair or home to pull the bearing your, themselves and seat the new bearing. Finally I've made two videos that I want you to be aware of, actually three of them. Uh, the first one is how to seat a new bearing using an H-clamp, how to seat a bearing using a hydraulic press, and how I built my hydraulic press. If you're interested, the links for these three are in the description. Why I've made this is just to encourage you to have the most independence that's possible for you. As I've said, if you do certain activities, you're not going to have energy for other activities. 
you have to decide what's right for you. Having the tool in my home means I could call a friend over and it's not going to take too much too much knowledge or too much understanding to apply two wrenches and just to you know be tightening them as the bearing puller is used. So to me this is my mobility on my own timetable and if I have a breakdown this is peace of mind. I really hope you're having a good day today. Thanks for your time together. Bye for now.